Today, I'm excited to share with you guys an appetizer that's very easy, colorful, and flavorful, bite-side skewers, both savory and sweet. You'll love it. So let's get started. First, let's start with the caprese salad skewers. Uh, ingredients are very simple. It's just fresh basil and some cherry tomatoes or just small tomatoes. It's easier so you can just stick them and be done with it. And then I gotta share with you guys these mozzarella snack cheese. They come in little packages and it just makes your life so much easier when making these. And then in terms of, you know, you can do olive oil. I have basil infused olive oil. You can use any kind of olive oil of your choice. And then I also have some balsamic vinegar, Italian seasoning, and a balsamic glaze just to make it look pretty. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this. The other thing you'll need is the skewers. These are bamboo skewers. You can buy these in a lot of different places, but I'll put some links of where I got these. There's different sizes, so just to show you, these are about three and a half inches, and these are about five inches. So keep that in mind. If your party or get together or whatever is small, and you wanna make them small, then just look for the size that fits best. If you wanna make them bigger and put more stuff in it, then you can get the bigger ones. So let's go ahead and just work these babies into beautiful art that you can eat. <laughs> to begin, in a small bowl, add about two tablespoons of olive oil, a dash of balsamic vinegar, about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, pepper, and salt. Mix it well, then add your cherry tomatoes to give them a really good toss so they're fully coated. Then repeat to coat your mozzarella cheese balls. Next, take the skewer and add one cherry tomato, then the cheese ball, and then a basil leaf and another tomato. You don't have to add them in any particular order, just have fun with it. Or if you're OCD, make them all the same. Once assembled, add a side of olive oil with balsamic vinegar for dipping and lightly drizzle balsamic glaze on your skewers to make them look pretty. Okay, now that we're done with the savory one, next is the sweet one. The nice thing about this is that you can use whatever you have at home. The key thing is to keep it colorful and pretty. So I'll be using strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and mint. So I have this little cute gadget here to cut strawberries. You don't have to use this, but if you have it, it's, it's fun to do because you just literally put the strawberry there, press it like it's a little stamp. See how cool that is? And it slices perfectly. So I'm gonna use that. If you don't have this little gadget, you can just use a paring knife and very carefully just slice into the strawberry. There's different ways to slice it. I'm pretty sure Gordon Ramsay would not approve of this, <laughs> but that's okay. The idea is to get this sliced. That way you can use just the individual pieces. Assemble your skewers, alternating your berries and mint like we did before. For your dipping sauce for the sweet ones, I did yogurt with a drizzle of honey and mint leaves. To decorate your final platter, you can take individual berries, tomatoes, basil or mint leaves to fill in some of the empty spots for a better presentation. And there you have it. Not only does it look beautiful, it smells so nice. And the fun thing about this is that you can decorate it in different ways or different colors. I'm a firm believer that you eat with your eyes, so things looking colorful and pretty always helps. Mm. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>